Welcome back to the Rock Newman Show. We're going to try to wrap this third hour up, keep, keep it exciting, entertaining, informative. Thank you so much for tuning in. We have a, what I'm going to call this is probably um, like a, a, a political hour. Um, each of the uh, Washington, D.C. mayors were invited to come on, and very graciously, um, Sharon Pratt Kelly decided to join us. Um, Tony Williams decided to join us. Marion Barry decided to join us. Um, and Vince Gray decided to join us. Vince did a pre recorded piece because he was concerned that he was concerned that he his flight would not land in time. So we took we played that earlier this morning. And now we have in studio Tony Williams, the Honorable Mayor Marion, former Mayor Marion Barry, Mayor for Life is not here yet, but I do have uh, to my left Tony Williams, and to my right uh, Rushern Baker. Rushern Baker from is the uh, County Executive for Prince George's County, and there's been a debate about whether or not Prince George's County is a subsidiary of Washington, D.C., <laughs> or if Washington, D.C. is an extension of Prince George's County. <laughs> Nevertheless, they are, they, are, they are close in proximity to each other. Now, being that this is live radio, something just happened. I just got a call, and I, Alex, I, I, Alex, I need you to come here, please. I just got a call from for, former Mayor Kelly. If you would take that call and kind of make it happen the way we – make it do what it need to do. Um, so I've got the mayor, and I've got – I have the county executive. Mayor Williams, welcome to the Rock Newman Show. Welcome, my brother. <laughs> now, there's a story about that. Before I go to Rush, before I go to Rishon, let me explain why uh, Tony Williams just said what he said. Uh, Tony, at one point, when he was the, uh, the, the the person that handled the district's finances, was referred to as a bean counter, just a bean counter who wore a bow tie, a very geeky kind of square dude. And um, we, met, we met one day, and <clears throat> Tony had heard, I guess, that I had a bit of an urban reputation. <laughs> And he wanted to make sure that he made a good impression. <laughs> At least this is my version. <laughs> and so he came up and he said, hello, my brother. <laughs> and I said, damn, Tony, if we're going over to the southeast and uh, Barry Farms and Parkland and those places, you need to learn how to say, yo, bro. <laughs> But it, since then, it, we've greeted each other with, hello, my brother. Hello, my brother. Thanks again for being on the Rock Newman Congratulations Show. Congratulations on the show, Rock. Uh, man, you know, I was explaining earlier that I did radio 30 years ago. I did it for a couple of years. And I really, really enjoyed it. And I went on to do some other things. I wasn't making any money in it. I went on to do some other things that, you know, gave me quite a wonderful life but I always missed yeah. radio it yeah. gives you something that nothing else gave me and to be able to be here um, on Martin Luther King Avenue with the kind of you know, so crowd that is showing. Kathy Hughes when she was doing radio. I did when yeah, they okay. first started. Right, when okay. they when 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 they first started. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So I'm 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 flattered and honored to be yeah. here, and I'm also flattered and honored to have uh, someone who taught me when I was in elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> uh, his name is Rasheran Baker. <laughs> As a matter of fact. I think it was the other way around. Uh, I think that. he was. I think he was one of my uh, one of my students when I was a counselor at Howard University. Uh, Rusher and Baker, we could not be more proud of you. And on a very very serious note, more proud of the job that you're trying to do in Prince George's County, the vision that you're showing, the absolute commitment and obvious dedication that you have for making Prince George's County a better place. He's Welcome really to doing the show. an excellent job. He is doing an absolutely, absolutely fantastic job. Well, well, thank you. It's good to be on here, and it's good to be with you, Mayor Williams. Uh, Rock, uh, uh, not only was uh, Rock uh, my counselor, he was my wife's counselor. When we first got to Howard University, uh, 
uh, always a, a great mentor of ours. So it's good good to be here, and, and congratulations on your show. I should say say this uh, before we get started. I saw all the former, you know, uh, former mayor, and you got the current mayor of D.C., so I brought back up. So I got the former uh, county executive, Wayne Curry, here with me. And, so. le <laughs> and let me tell you something. I am so glad you did because there is uh, I absolutely, we, not only do I want to, we must talk to Wayne Curry. I currently reside at National Harbor. Great. And it is not lost on me the impact, the effort. That's a huge project. That yes. the, the, the impact and effort that Wayne Curry made in bringing and making Ma National Harbor a reality. Some other folks took more credit than perhaps they deserve, but I know the story of how long Wayne Curry was in the trenches trying to make that happen. We also have on the line with us, oh, we just got it going on. We have Sharon Pratt, and like a knucklehead, uh, she's been Sharon Pratt for quite some time and dropped the Kelly name uh, quite some time ago. Uh, if I'm hearing from my producers correctly, the Honorable Sharon Pratt is on the line. Delighted to be with you. Sharon, thank you so much for joining, for joining us. Um, man, this is a Howard University homecoming. Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon. You've got uh, a well-educated crowd here. <laughs> uh, well, I would say so, because when you come from Howard U, you, get it, you just get it like that. Sharon, um, man, lots to talk about with you. Um, you were a corporate executive with Pepco and you and is that right Pepco or the phone company mm -hmm. that's right that's right Pepco, Pepco. that's right mm -hmm. and you eventually transitioned from Pepco and decided to come in the public sector was that a frightening uh, adventure for you well, it uh, I guess you could say it's and uh, I think Mayor Williams knows something about it more of those dramatic leaps. Uh, but I'd always been involved in politics, always been involved in the effort to, you know, obtain home rule, had been the treasurer of the National Democratic Party. So, you know, the political process wasn't new to me, uh, but it's always different when you're the one who's right there in the middle of in the arena yourself, so uh, fighting, fighting the lions yourself. So it's a different story when you're the one there. Uh, so it was a leap. Uh, but hopefully uh, one where I, I could take that leap and bring some of the uh, notions of efficiency and technology and, uh, you know, to the city as we were moving towards the 21st century. You know, I think that there is something uh, to be said for respecting political correctness. And if I'm some kind of way politically incorrect right now, I'm going to ask for forgiveness in advance. But... In addition to being an outstanding mayor and my having a soft spot because you're the mayor that allowed us to bring the first heavyweight championship fight to Washington, D.C. in more than 50 years. In addition to all the wonderful things that you did as we talked about the education and the rest, you by far, and here where it might be politically incorrect, are the best looking mayor that Washington, D.C. <laughs> ever had. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot of competition, you but it's true. Uh, <laughs> Tony just says not a lot of competition, but it's still true. <laughs> it's very true, Madam Mayor. Hey, let me, let me, to Tony, let me ask you. Um, I think the mayor really made a mark, too. She, does, she sells herself short. She really made a mark uh, on the whole focus on lack of self-determination in the state city of Washington, D.C., Certainly, and D.C. statehood. Well, thank you for saying that, yes. D.C. statehood is going to be a, a talking about Washington, D.C., and it being disenfranchised, it having uh, a taxation without no representation. That will be something that we will consistently talk about here on, on this program. Tony, let me ask you. Um, you came into office, um, and... The city had come out of receivership, and these were the, the, some of the most daunting of economic times. What do you feel was your, um, what, what was your highlight? What, what, the, I, every mayor that is on the program now and the mayor that decided he didn't want to come on the program, in one form or the other, I've known supported. And um, I just wanted to 
you know, and I said to everyone a month after they've gotten into office, and I certainly did it with Tony. I said, you sure you wanted this job? Because I think it's one of the hardest jobs, not just in America, but in the world. What was your highlight? Well, I mean, I think the highlight was, uh, it certainly wasn't, a, uh, as we were talking about with uh, Mayor Pratt, it certainly hasn't been uh, realized politically and constitutionally, but operationally and just pra practically uh, bringing uh, respect to the city uh, investment to the city, uh, restoring the finances of the city. That's important because it allows us to do uh, the many things that we need to do in all parts of the city. Sharon, I would ask you the same thing. Um, uh, you know, such, such, such a tough job. You know, it's, it's hard to get a compliment. It, it, it's just a thankless job oftentimes. I'd ask you, w what was your highlight? Well, I do want to say that uh, Mayor Williams did a spectacular job of, of bringing uh, the level of, of respect and regard, particularly uh, the, around fiscal issues, uh, which is uh, uh, essential uh, to the city really growing and prospering as it is doing today. Uh, I would like to think that uh, helping the city uh, redefine her vision, uh, having a vision that was bigger than uh, this sort of parochial, feudal system that was under the thumb of the federal government, uh, to recognize that we were bigger than just the home to the federal government. We were a cosmopolitan community. We, we launched the Taste of D.C., you know, as one initiative. Uh, we, we, we made the effort to start bringing basketball back and, you know, uh, heavyweight boxing championships back into the city. Uh, you know, uh, put an emphasis on you know, diversifying the economy of the city and bringing technology to the city and trying to bring technology. It was, it was a lot of paradigm shifts, maybe probably maybe too much in for, for four years, uh, but we'll have the city to begin to see herself as the sophisticated cosmopolitan community uh, that she has the potential and is now realizing. You know, you guys, uh, you guys sit at the seat of power, and then it's over. Tony, what are you doing now? I get tickets. <laughs> you get tickets. Yeah, the t I mean, the parking uh, office is working very efficiently, I can say. <laughs> so we were talking about Howard. I went to speak to General Consul Kurt Schmoke up at Howard uh, just on Thursday, and I ran in there. I figured I could just run in there for 15 minutes uh, and conduct some business and get back out. And it was cold that day, too, but they were working efficiently. Got a ticket. And, and, and uh, Sharon, what are you doing these days? Um, what I've been doing for over 10 years, I have a, but you know, ex-political people do, a consulting firm, and uh, a lot of it in sustainable energy and health care, and, and I have an IT partner. That's, that's really what I do. Yeah. Are you going to be talking to, working with uh, Mayor Gray at all? Uh, Mayor Gray at all? He, he, he has announced that he wants Washington, D.C. to be the greenest city in, in, the, in the country. Uh, will you guys be doing anything together on that? Well, nothing, nothing that I know of just yet. Although uh, I do work uh, with a General Electric distributor, <laughs> you know the LED lighting. So that would be one opportunity for the city. You know, uh, uh, but he, I think that's a bold move, and I think it's an important move. And Chicago's done it quite well, uh, and Washington D.C. should be a part of that. Yeah, I agree with you, Mayor. That's yes, true. Absolutely. So do I. So do I. Mm -hmm. I, I. I'm very. I'm very. I'm really contemplating going to. Gas efficient cars, myself. I mean, this is oh. sort of a little, as a little gesture, as a, as a, as a, as a so a small gesture. 